The unnerving urgency felt in France many times before, with first responders rushing this time to a suburban supermarket, a gunman holed up inside with hostages and a trail of violence already left behind. The rampage started with a carjacking and shots fired at police in Carcassonne. The vehicle was driven to small town Treb, where the violence continued. Police outside didn't risk storming in, while inside, witnesses say the attackers shouted, Allahu Akbar, God is great, and pledged allegiance to ISIS. Le terroriste s'appelait Redouane Lagdim. The French interior minister identified the attacker as a 26-year-old known to police as a small-time drug dealer. Today, he reportedly demanded the release of Salah Abdeslam, the prime suspect in the 2015 Paris attacks that killed 130 people in several locations, including a crowded rock concert. It follows the, the kind of routine that we've seen over the last couple of years, that these things will just pop out of nowhere uh, and um, people will be looking to take lives, but also make a political statement on behalf of ISIS. With eyes in the sky, one police officer boldly got inside when he volunteered to trade places with a hostage. He had the presence of mind to leave his cell phone connected. Police heard gunshots and ran in, killing the suspect. At the end of this bloody day, three others were dead. That daring officer rushed to hospital in critical condition. The French president honored him for his role in ending the siege. Il a sauvé des vies. He saved lives and made his country proud, said Emmanuel Macron. Police are now scouring the suspect's apartment as they try to determine his motivations and whether there's any further threat. Thomas Dagle, CBC News, London. The attacks on Paris in 2015 shook France to the core. 130 dead, more than 600 wounded. And it wasn't until two years later the national state of emergency was lifted. But the threat of attack remains high, as we saw today. 7,000 soldiers are deployed across the country at possible target sites. And the government says its vigilance is paying off, with more than a dozen potential attacks stopped last year.